second generation computer transistors the period of second generation computer was 1956 to 1963 using transistors hardware technology transistors replaced the vacuum tubes of the first generation of computers during this generation, using the transistor were cheaper, consumed less power, more compact in size, more reliable, and faster than the first generation machines. The transistors were far superior to the vacuum tube. Compared to the first generation, these computers were smaller, faster, and energy efficient. In this generation, magnetic cores were used as primary memory. The magnetic tape and magnetic disks were used as secondary memory. The second generation computers still relied on punched cards and printouts for outputs. They used the concept of a stored program where the instructions were stored in the memory of the computer. Software Technology The instructions were written using the assembly language. Assembly language used mnemonics like add for addition and sub for subtraction for coding of the instructions. Assembly language is easier than the machine language. High level programming languages such as COBOL and Fortran were also developed during this period. The first computer of second generation was developed for the atomic energy industry. Physical appearance Transistors are smaller in size compared to vacuum tubes, so the size of the computer was also reduced. Examples PDP-8 IBM-1401 CDC-1604 and IBM-7090 Advantages Second generation computers moved from cryptic binary machine language to symbolic or assembly languages. This allowed programmers to specify instructions in words. Disadvantage High cost limited to special purpose tasks.